welcome welcome to my very own youtube channel so in today's video i am not going to be doing much but just you guys how i do a very easy um beginner friendly makeup tutorial a very detailed one by the way please do subscribe like and comment stay tuned anyways so i will be using this e45 cream i use this as a day cream reason being is that it really hydrates my face and since i have a very dry skin i like to use this as a moisturizer when i do my makeup too next thing is i'm going to go in with my foundation um so i will be mentioning all the products and shades of foundations that i'm going to be using in the description box below so these are the foundations that i will be using today Ooh, there we go yes honey Just after applying my foundation, I like to then contour my face. But I will be using um, these two concealers to contour my face. I will leave the shade in the description box below. So I am firstly going to go in with the shade Creamy Beige under my eyes and at the bridge of my nose as well as on my chin some people prefer not to um, apply concealer on this is honestly optional if you feel like a foundation is enough for you that's still fine So I'm then going to go in with this fluffy brush from uh, Real Techniques. So this is a setting brush but honey, it does the job when it comes to concealing. Trust me. I'm just going to blend out the concealer like so. Just remember to keep your foundation brush that you used earlier on right next to you. So I also then like to drag the concealer to my nose like so. Blend, 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 honey, you blend. Right, guys so next up I am going to go in with the next concealer in the shade chestnut
so I'm going to go in with this brush over here. Alright guys, then I'm going in with a different brush this time. I am going in with a... And this is how it looks like. I will be using this to contour my nose. So you just want to basically blend out the darker shade of your concealer and drag it all the way up to your eyebrow so it does I am giving you guys a white girl nose There we go. So before going to my eyebrows, I am going to set my face using um, my translucent powder from Yachty. So with my eyebrows, let me just brush over here. I am going to be using this eyebrow gel mascara to basically maintain this shape over here or to actually avoid my eyebrows from going down and I'm going in with my eyebrow liner from Essence as well it's in the shade number 2 brown so first thing I like to do when I do my eyebrows is Firstly, draw a line underneath when my eyebrows start. This is just to basically help me see where I am going to conceal my
I'm then going to go in with my concealer. So these are my two concealers as you can see. So one is lighter than my skin tone. Then I'm going to go in with another one that's the closest shade to my skin tone. So I'm going to start in with a concealer that's way, way lighter than my skin tone. So what I like to do is basically put it over here. So I'm going to be using a concealer that is slightly the same shade as my foundation or rather my skin tone. So I'm going to apply that in the beginning of my eyebrow. So I'm going to go in with a brush to blend out the middle part of my concealer. Alright guys, then I'm going in with a brush that I used to contour my nose. So I will be using this in the beginning and the end part of my eyebrow. So this is basically to help marry my concealer with my nose contour concealer that I used earlier on. So we're just going to marry the two together. And also And that is the end product. I'm going in with my Wet n Wild uh, palette. So before I get into it, I'm just going to conceal my eyelid before applying my eyeshadow. So you do want to um, 
conceal your eyelids with a lighter concealer this is so you can basically make your eyeshadow pop i'm going to go in with this shade over here and i will be using a fluffy brush focus on there we go So because of this eyeshadow is quite dark and I am going for a almost natural kind of look but yet smoky-ish so I'm just going to firstly dab my eyeshadow on my eyelid like so. So then I'm going to start blending it out all the way to my crease line. So the trick with blending out an eyeshadow is that you want to blend it out in circular motions. Shading out a bit, you can always go in with more eyeshadow, but also remember to blend out. Alright guys, then I am going to go in with a different brush, so I will then be going in with this shade now, over here. Different brush, I am going to use a blush. And then for my lips, I'm going to be using the same liner from Essence to line my lips. And I am going in with this lip gloss that I got from Essence.
go in with a brush just to make sure that I blend in my lip gloss together with it. just to define my nose So I am going to go in with this mascara over here. I got this mascara from MAC. So this is literally my favorite mascara. I'm just going to go in. So you guys are more than welcome to use eyeshadow on your lower eyelid. But the reason why I don't do it and prefer not to do it and you guys will probably never see me do it on this channel like never I have very sensitive under eyes I don't know if you guys can see but I'm starting to get teary from just applying mascara under my eyes so with eyeshadow honey I don't play because I am not trying to look like the ghetto Ooh. this is like one of the hardest jobs ever okay guys my lighting is going on it's literally the shade okay so I am then going to highlight my face using this um, light up your face luminizer palette from Essence. I am then going to use the darkest shade in there. Unfortunately, you guys, my, my camera died on me while I was shooting, and for the second time, can you imagine? Anyway, man. so this is the final look, you guys. I, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment down below. Thank you guys for watching my video, and see you next time. Mm -hmm. Stay safe and stay at home.